What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. So I wanted to put a quick video up today. I put a video up on Instagram uh, probably about a week or so ago, and we were using this bag. And what we were talking, we we're going through a drill, and we we're essentially talking to our players about kind of learning how to coil around this leg, okay? So we worked on getting around this leg, and then when we launched the bat, we were trying to get the bat to work rearward as I launched my body back. And so one of the things that we do is we'll use this PVC pipe, and we talk to our players about trying to get the knob or the end of the PVC pipe as we launch, we want to get this to work more up that way, all right, instead of down. The other way we talk about it is that we're trying to get palm up. So we're trying to get palm up, palm down position, but at launch, I'm going to start to feel this palm starting to work up once I launch back, right? So when I launch, you're going to see the palm start to work up a little bit earlier as I start to launch back, boom, and then I hit it right here, okay? So I threw it up, a lot of people really liked the drill. And there were also some people that said, what are you doing? Like, you're gonna, are you trying to teach players to pop up? So here's the thing, the drill is created to give the player a feel, okay? And so we're putting them in a position, again, where we're really just feeling one leg, I'm trying to coil around it. And again, I'm trying to exaggerate this movement of launching my upper body back. Now, when I do it off of the bag and I do it in this position off this drill, it looks pretty extreme, right? It looks like I'm literally falling back. We tell the player to fall back, okay? When I now get into my normal stance and I do the same exact thing, I don't look like I'm falling back, right? And so every drill we do, almost every drill we do, is created to give the player a certain type of feel and to a lot of times exaggerate that feel, okay? Now when it comes to getting this palm up, right, and trying to get the knob to work up, if you don't, if you fight, if you fight to either keep the knob down or to not allow this palm to get up and you make this move, well then, you're going to be, in my opinion, you're gonna be really steep, okay? So you're not gonna get the barrel behind the ball. So I'm gonna be steep, I'm gonna be more armsy, I'm gonna be more pushy this way, right? And so this is not gonna be a swing that's gonna work in the right sequence, but I'm not gonna be able to get behind the ball, I'm not gonna get my barrel behind the ball, I'm not gonna be able to match the plane of the pitch. So that's the idea, right? The only way I can do that is when I launch and this starts to work this way, and the bat starts to make this move, now I can get behind the ball. Now I'm on the same plane as the pitch. When I make this move, I'm not getting behind the ball. I'm not on the same plane as the pitch, right? I'm steep, and again, if you haven't seen our other videos, we talk a bunch about trying to get on the same plane as the pitch, right? Trying to be slightly up through the ball. I do, if I'm this way, if I'm here, I'm not in the hitting zone for a long time, I'm not gonna be, impact, I'm not gonna be able to impact the ball squarely. I'm gonna either smother the ball into the ground or I'm gonna clip, if I hit the bottom of the ball, I'm gonna clip the ball and hit a lot of pop-ups. So people were talking about you know, too many pop-ups with this drill. In my opinion, you get a lot of pop-ups when you're steep to the ball. Now you will get some pop-ups if you lose the barrel, right? If you just completely lose the barrel, and you get what you see a lot of young guys do, right? They make this move, the barrel starts to get this way, it gets way below the ball too early, and you lose it, you'll also get some pop-ups. But we're not talking about that, right? And so, again, I'm here, and now when I launch, I launch back and I let the barrel snap around, okay? And now this knob is up here instead of down here. If the knob is up here, the barrel, is able to do this, right? I had a couple of people that talked about, you know, you can't let the barrel get below the hands. The barrel is gonna be below the hands pretty much every pitch, except, I mean, if the pitch is way, way up, maybe your barrel won't be below the hands. But, I mean, even still, 
the barrel is never above the hands. You can't hit a baseball with your barrel above the hands, right? Just, it, it's just not gonna happen. The barrel's always gonna be below the hands, right? Now, when I work with a lot of players, first time I work with them, we have a player come in, I'm not saying 100% of the players, but a, a, a high majority of the players will have some type of this in their swing, right? Because most players are taught, stay above the ball. You know, a lot of players are taught to swing down to the ball, right? Down, 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 above the ball, okay? And so we get a ton of players that are real pushy, real steep to the ball, not getting behind the ball, not getting the same plane as, uh, of the pitch. And now their, their sequence is out of order. And so this is one of the first drills I'll do with a lot of players. And I've seen a ton of improvement just by getting the players to kind of understand some of these movements.